Hello guys, let's talk about how to use responsive Google Web Fonts in WYSIWYG Web Builder project. So talking about responsive um, Google Web Fonts and WYSIWYG Web Builder, uh, first we have to go to, there's a Google Web Fonts, so I have my Google Web Fonts over here. So you can simply go to font.google.com and um, you have the uh, new Google Web Fonts interface open over here. So all you need to do is to select the fonts or the fonts you would be using in your project. So I'm going to browse through and um, see the fonts I'm going to be using. So I think I'll be, let's just go ahead and um, let's use this. Or uh, let me just use this font so that you can really appreciate the difference or what it's going to um, do in the project. So to add this um, font to your project, all you need to do is to click on the plus icon over here. And when you are done selecting the font you want to use, all you need to do is just come here and click this to expand this. And now you have some sort of instructions over here on how to add this um, font to your project. So the first one says what um, to embed your selected font into a web page, copy this code into the head section. So we are going to copy this code into the head section of our project. So I'm going to copy this and I'll come to my ZWG Web Builder project. All I need to do is to go to page and under um, page the in the ribbon all I need to do is to click on page HTML so when I click on page HTML it opens this um, box for me and I go ahead and paste my code over here so I'll go ahead and click on OK but um, there's one thing I want to show you over here there are two differences between page HTML and site HTML so the site HTML affects all the pages in your website so for instance if um, you want to be using this particular font to apply to this page only to or uh, that is um, apply that particular font to all the pages in your website then you should be using site html instead of the page html but in our case we are only doing for um, this particular page so page html is fine so after doing that let me come back to my browser and um, the next um, instruction we have over here says what use the following css rules to specify um, these um, family so we are going to copy this code as well and come back to our project so this time around we are going to go to tools and under tools we go to the style manager so when you come to the style manager there are set of um, styles created over here we are not interested in using any of these styles so we are going to go ahead to create our own style so you go ahead and click on add and um all you need to do is to specify the name of the style so let me just come back and um, get the name of the um, font I use. So I use this um, indie um, flower font. So I'm just going to come back to my project. I like to name my um, styles according to the, the font type I'm using or the font name. So indie underscore flower. And then I go ahead to specify the size of the font. So I'm going to say this is going to be about 24 pixels then i'll go ahead and specify the color so i'm going to make this gray now that you would realize that um at the first section or at the top over here we have general and at the general we have um, some set of options over here the first one says custom styles so this is where we are going to paste our second code we copied from um that's google web phone so this is the code we copied and this is where it is going to go so then i'm going to scroll down to the font section and i'm going to change the font size to that is 24 pixels because i specified that i want 24 pixels and the color is going to be gray so i'll click on the drop down arrow as well and i'm going to select um that is great let me select this gray and i'll go ahead and click on ok so i'll go ahead and click on ok as well now i'll come to my toolbox and then the, the standard set of tools i'll click on test and i'm going to draw over here I'm going to populate this with um, some form of test using the Laram Epsom and I'm just going to use this just say about 10 words and I'm going to highlight over all these words. Now to apply this um, the style or the Google Web Font style I created, all I need to do is to highlight my test over here, come to the, um, that's the styles over here, click on the drop down arrow and select the style you created. So in my case, I'm going to select this particular style. And then uh, let me just um, align this to the center. Right click on this and uh, make sure it is positioned in the center of the page. Now I'll go ahead and preview this and uh, my browser. So this is it. And um, let's just wait a while. Okay, so here we go. As you can see, we have our font over here. Now let me right click on it and go to inspect to make sure 
that is the font we applied so as you can see that's the font family we applied to our project so now let me come back to my and um, page again and then this time around we are going to take a look at how we can make this font responsive so that in a situation whereby um, we are previewing this particular page on a mobile device we don't have this um, huge font um, size showing over here so come back to our project and now let's start by creating our breakpoint so i'm going to go ahead to create for 320 pixels and i'm going to create for 480 pixels i'll go ahead and create for um 766 pixels as well so i'll go ahead and click on ok and i'm um, click on ok now go ahead and reduce the size of this image i have here to fit the width of um, my 768 pixels i'm not going to do anything to the font all i need to do is just to reposition it i'll come to my 480 pixels resize uh, my image i have here i'm going to resize this um test i have here i'm going to resize it as well as um, reposition it so make sure it is positioned in the center now i come to my 320 pixels breakpoint and i'm going to resize um, the image i have here so making sure this is 320 pixels so let me just um, change the width of it to 320 pixels now I'll go ahead and um, bring my font over here and i'm going to resize it as well now um, let me just right click and make sure it is positioned in the center now i'm done um, i'm creating my breakpoint and resizing my items and my uh, breakpoint so what i need to do next is to come to my tools and come back to the style manager now let's go to the font style we created over here and go ahead and click on edit so after clicking on edit and if you look at the top right hand corner uh, we have breakpoint over here so all I need to do now is to click on the drop down arrow and select um, that is add breakpoint. So after selecting add breakpoint, I'm going to specify the breakpoint width. So the first one is going to be 320 pixels. I'll go ahead and specify for um, 480 pixels and I'll go ahead and specify for um, 768 pixels. You may wonder why I had to create um, the three breakpoints I created for the page wall. One aspect of um, using responsive test and wizard web builder is that and so far as you have um let's say about three or four breakpoints created you should make sure you're going to create the same breakpoint um for the style or in the style manager make sure they are the same width you specified over here so as i have done over here i have for 320 480 768 and as you can see over here i have for 320 480 and 768 now I'll go ahead and switch to my 320 breakpoint and I'll scroll to the bottom. Now I'll come to the font size. I'm going to change the size of this. This is going to be to, um, let me just change this to about 14 pixels. And even if I want, I can go ahead and change the color as well. So let me just change the color to black. And I'll go to my um, 480 pixels. I'm going to change the size over here to 16 pixels. And I'm going to change um, the color to red. Now I'll go to uh, my 768 pixels and I'm going to change the size to um, let's say 18 pixels and I'm going to change the color over here to this orange I have here. Now I'll go ahead and click on OK and click on OK. Now let's go ahead and switch to our various um, breakpoint to see what's going to happen. So as you can see, this is my, um, my first breakpoint that is the 768 pixels. This is the 480 pixels breakpoint. Now I'll go ahead to uh, my 320 pixels breakpoint. Now let me go ahead and preview this page in my browser. So this is my page and uh, let me just um, switch to my responsive uh, design mode over here. So I'm going to start with 768 pixels. So 768, hit on enter. As you can see, we have our font size change. You may wonder how do I detect or how did I see that our font size has um, reduced. Now let me right click go to inspect element and let's just check for the size of our font so we have um, the font size is um, 24 pixels okay so the font size we have over here is 24 pixels and uh, 24 pixels is for the default well the browser may not necessarily get the exactly font size we applied but that's fine now let me go ahead and switch to my 320 um, 40 pixels so let me just go ahead and um, I'll see them just inspect this one as well. As you can see, there's some form of reduction over here. Even though it's not giving it the exact uh, 
um, font size we applied to our test but that's fine now let's go ahead and switch this to 320 pixels and as you can see as well this one has reduced to um, that's 19 pixels so that is how to add um, Google Web Fonts to your project as well as making it responsive and WYSIWYG Web Builder. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.